Fuck it with King. Go, go. Are y'all ready for this question? Are y'all ready for this question? I'm ready, King. And by the way, something is wrong with this kid, Greg. What are you doing? Giving out your phone number looking for a woman? At Greg, one six six seven six nine three five four two zero. That's a number. You looking for honey? <laughs> is that what you're doing? Hey, look, you have my number. All you got to do is go to my Twitter handle. Really? Come on, brother. But listen to this question. You're in an arena mm -hmm. with 50 hawks, 10 crocodiles, three brown bears, 15 wolves, one hunter with a rifle, seven cape buffaloes, 10,000 rats. Bro, 10,000 rats? That's what I wanted to stop with. I'm like, I'm gonna wait till he says it. 10,000, bro. Five gorillas and four lions. I'm gonna say that again. 50 hawks, 10 crocodiles, three brown bears, 15 wolves, one hunter with a rifle, seven buff cake buffaloes, 10. Th How much ammo does he have in this rifle? That's the question. I ain't gonna lie because I ain't gonna hold you. I'm taking, me personally, I'm taking the hunter with the rifle. Feel me? Damn, I ain't going for that. Might be stupid though, because then we gotta go against fifteen wolves, bro. Like, what the hell? Like, all right, I might take. I'm taking five gorillas off the rip. I'm taking five gorillas off the rip, and I might take the fifteen wolves. And I think we Gucci, because my five gorillas and those three bears. The rats. They get put in a pack. Gorillas, four lions. Pick two to defend you. While the others attack you, the goal is to survive one hour. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Are y'all ready for this for me? Lions are the king of the jungle. Nigga laced. I'm rolling with the lions. He's laced. And are y'all ready for this? You better say gorillas. 10,000 rats. I don't blame them. I didn't say mice. I don't blame them. I said rats. Yeah, bro, 10,000 rats is crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I just didn't want to say that. I'm going with the rats. Let me tell you something right now. I don't know too many things in life that would stick around to fight with 10,000 rats. <laughs> so let's get that out the way. That's number one. Number two, I can pretty much guarantee you it won't be the one hunter with a rifle. Yeah, cause I, it sounds nice. you ain't gonna get five of those rats. What? Yo, <laughs> yo, it's it sound yo the hunter with the rifle sound nice. I go lie. The nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five left coming at you. Good luck with that. You don't want no pieces of that. Ten crocodiles, you could say that, but that's you in the water, <laughs> not on land. Okay, three brown bears, please. They ain't trying to fight no rats. He's laced. <laughs> Fifteen wolves they ain't trying to do it either. All right, seven cake buffalo, only seven of y'all. The minute you see them nigging, t t t nipping away at your, at your heels and stuff, you're going to run like the elephants do. <laughs> All right, and your skin ain't as thick as the elephants. All right, so let's get that out the way. Okay? Five gorillas. Come on now. So the lions and the 10,000... You people ain't have too much info for them five gorillas, bro. Them five gorillas is hefty, nigga. I don't see how you gonna beat that. Ten thousand rats. How you gonna beat that? That's easy to me. That's my first choice. I'm thinking about ten thousand rats beating all of them. I mean, again, the goal is to survive an hour, but you got to get through ten thousand rats to get to me. <laughs> I'm going with the ten thousand rats. And by the way. The lions will take care of the gorillas for me, the buffaloes for me. They will? I don't know about the 15 wolves, but they'll take a few of them out. That's what I'm going to feel like. I'm going with the lions and the 10,000 rats. Yo, chat, how do y'all feel? Yo, Black Trill, baby, how do you feel, bro? You still here, bro. Your child needs these three key factors to get into an Ivy League or top 25 you Welcome to the Florida Cancer Center. 
Are y'all ready for this question? Hey, follow me on Twitch, baby. My son, Horror Games. What's good, my boy? How you living? Get to my tweets here because today's fan tweets are brought to you by our newest sponsor, SeatGeek. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. So go. Yo, we got to get on the game, bro. What's the word? I might play like a little Smash Bros. I ain't gonna lie, but we gotta get on the game, bro. I miss you, man. Download the Seat Geek app and use my code SAS for twenty dollars off tickets at Seat Geek. That's twenty dollars off your first purchase with promo code SAS. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Let's go to the tweet team. Oh my goodness, the one and only Mina Kimes, my partner in crime on first take. She tweeted me today. She says, "Boy, your top." Three draft picks here, Stephen A. Damn, I don't really know X Men like that. But off rip, we taking Wolverine. We taking Wolverine. We taking Storm, and we taking some with the goggles. I don't know what the name Cyclops. About X Men, Jubilee, Beast, Rogue, Storm, uh, Cyclops, Bishop, Wolverine. Give me, first of all, Wolverine. Let's get that up. Oh, Wolverine. We going off Wolverine. Rip. Okay. All right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell you, Beast, I can do that. And, uh, uh, how can I go against Storm? When I think Storm, I think Halle Berry. What do you want me to say? <laughs> go against Halle Berry. Okay. So we're going to go with Storm, Beast, and, of course, Wolverine. I hope you approve, MK. Hope you approve. Next tweet. At Art of SpongeBob. Dear Mr. Smith, if Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob SquarePants were to wear a hat, how would he wear it, and why? Hmm. I'd say, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I would tell you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's. See. I think he gonna I like number three. I think he gonna wear it in the middle. I'd say the middle. I'd say the. I'd say the 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 middle or on the eyes. Yeah, he right. Either the middle or on the eyes. I think eyes. number three looks best. It looks fly. Actually, I take that back. I like number four. That looks fly. Four looks fly. I'm going to roll with four. I'll go with number four. I like that look. Did he just switch spots? Like, how was that? At Will underscore Will 30. Who wins in an eating competition? Homer or Peter? Never watch. Never watch fucking. Look how big Peter is. Nah. Who the hell up? Peter. Peter's that fat, but he don't eat that much on Family Guy. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, though. But I never really watched The Simpsons. I'm pretty sure his son eat them donuts. SpongeBob. uh, Sandy. (laughs) No. <laughs> he looks like he could eat Homer. The hell are you talking about? What kind of question is that? Okay. Let's go with the next one here. At Cant uh, Cantaloupe underscore FF. Which is the super sandwich? Peanut butter and jelly. Superior. And I'm telling you now, it's grilled cheese. Because peanut like like grilled cheese, grilled cheese sandwiches give you that like that that that. That oomph, you know, like it gives you that pizzazz, you know. A PB and J, it gives you broke poverty. You ain't got nothing else. But a grilled cheese is like you ain't got nothing, but you gonna add a little razzle dazzle to nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna grill the bread, you gonna melt the cheese and shit like that. Like peanut butter and jelly, you really just wow slap jelly, wow slap peanut butter, wow bread. I right, bet we good. Like nah. Or grilled cheese. Me, personally, I'm going to tell you peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter, protein, that kind of stuff is number one. Cheese ain't that great for you with your cholesterol. And number three, all grilled cheese sandwiches don't taste the same. Sometimes the bread can alter the taste. That's a fucking fact. Also with a grilled cheese sandwich than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You didn't think I know. But your brother Stephen A, oh, he knows. He knows. Nah, I've had some bad PB&J sandwiches. Here because today's... I bet some bad ass PB and J sandwiches, bro. Them shits ain't all that. <laughs> the weakest link is mad crazy. Calls before I get on out of here. <laughs> Look at this tweet at Team 
Ibo 23. Right, Stephen A., would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Good Lord. I'd rather have hands <sighs> for feet. Never thought about this. I have hands for feet. I'm wow. Hands for feet. I would say that. Because you can do feet? a lot of things with your hands. Because feet for hands it's is crazy. what you can do with your feet. But you can do a lot with your hands. And so because you can do a lot of things with your hands, why not hands? Why not have hands for feet? Facts. Gives you more flexibility, more versatility. And you never know what you can end up doing very, very well. I'm going to go with the hands for feet. That's going to be my selection. Next tweet. Give it to me, please. At Chris underscore Gerard 13. Quote, Stephen A., who's the weakest link? This was Scooby-Doo. Let's be honest. Oh. Let's be honest. Let's all be honest. It's Daphne. Daphne don't put in no pain. All Daphne do is try to fuck Fred. Like, let's be honest. All they do is just wander off. My son Shaggy and Scooby usually put in the most pain. Feel me? Sometimes Dumb would be the third wheel. Feel me? But, like, Fred and, that Fred and Daphne, they just be fucking drifting. All Fred do is just take the mask off the nigga. You feel me? That's how I see it. Hey, Velma, Shaggy... Fred, Daphne, Scooby. I was never in the Shaggy. First of all, I don't like the way he looks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's skinny. All right. This sounds like a biased opinion. To really get down and throw down and all of this stuff, right? Them niggas don't and fight no ghouls. <laughs> I was just based on all that. I like Thelma. I mean Daphne and Velma. I really did like them. He a GC. It's over. I do like. I did like. So I'm going to roll with that right there. Shaggy, Fred was kind of corny and stuff like that. But Shaggy just <laughs> didn't do it for me. So I'm going to say that's the weak link here, Shaggy. I don't think they, you know, I don't think there's so much he can do. He ain't going to throw on the swag and get a lady for you. What the fuck they got to do with catching ghosts? Don't throw down if you're ready to fight. I mean, what does he bring to the table? I just don't know the answer to that. How you throw down with a ghost? Or with a zombie? I, I was kind of stupid, still. That. Next up, give it to me. At Randy, double underscore vision, right? Stephen A., if a dog wore pants, would he wear them like this or like this? I think he'd wear them like this. Facts. You understand? I mean, this is like an outfit. This looks like pants. That's just me. I'm sorry, that's just how I feel about it. I mean, I have no idea whether I'm right or not, but damn it, I'm going to go with that. Okay? I mean, listen, you got pants, right? And not and it's covering that, his butt. Um, the private parts are near this area. It's not all the way over that area. All right? So they got pants in his tits. That standpoint, and I'm going to say... tip to get over a breakup and that is going to be going to therapy going to therapy oh, wow. so so much it can normally i'm giving an opening monologue and i'm interviewing somebody i'm touching on hot topics and stuff like that but on a day like today you know what i was just in the mood not to do any of that all i wanted to do was talk to y'all all i wanted to do was hear from y'all and respond to comments that you might give me in some cases, near the end of the show, it's going to be videos. In other cases, it's simply going to be calls. But we're going to start off the show today with tweets. Every single segment of this show is me talking to you, the people. Let me hear where y'all coming from, what's on your mind, and what's the kind of things you want to ask me about. So let's start off the show the right way. At Gavin Wanders C., Tweets to me, Stephen A. Who's winning this fight? James Bond or John Wick? In a fight, I believe it would be Bond. James Bond. Because <laughs> he's no joke. I know we've seen some of the martial arts. Yo, Kid Titanic was good. Kid Titanic, thank you for tuning into the stream, man. The street that John Wick has put forth, but I never bought into all of that because it was too much, too excessive, and it was too unrealistic, too many scenes. I wasn't feeling that, even though I'm a fan of Keanu Reeves. But I know you can't beat a bullet. So obviously you pick John Wick since he's the one pointing the gun and he's just flicking his watch. But for all we know, James Wan got probably got a gun in that watch, probably got a bullet. And he can sit up there, pow, do something like that. So I can't rule out James Bond, but he's just too smooth. 
He's too gifted. He's too skilled. Okay? Too slick for me to get bet against Bond. I just can't find myself doing it. I'm going with Bond. James Bond. Let's go to the next week, please. <laughs> Prize picks at prize picks. Stephen A., you got to pick one celebrity to coach your team in the NCAA tournament. John Cena. Who you got? John Cena. John Cena off the rip. John Cena. You ready for this? John Cena. Jay Z. Why? I mean, mine's just pretty crazy, too, but. Jay Z? Jay Z. Ho. H to the Izzo, that dude. <laughs> because I have to confess, the brother knows his basketball. I've lost okay. about six bets to him. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, I think I might have beat him once. He might have beat me six times. He jokes with me, man. You ain't this. I'm your damn expert. What the hell, just come to me. Because <laughs> he does know his sports. And if I look at him, Clearly, he's inspirational. Clearly, he vibes with the younger generation. He can max, he can get max effort from them in the whole bit. And you talk about the NCAA tournament and him knowing some ball. Yes, basketball is a sport that he knows. I would go with Jay-Z as my celebrity to coach my team in the NCAA tournament. Next up, please give it to me. At... Blasian one and in invasion with Blasian invasion the number one instead of I by the way Stephen A who you got winning in the street fight dudes from King of the Hill or dudes from Family Guy I've never seen niggas in King of the Hill get it on that's all I'ma say I've never seen no clips no short vids no yo look at this ah, ah they was getting it on niggas in Family Guy was getting it on even my son Joe in the wheelchair bro he was throwing that bitch None of these dudes look like they can fight. Even though the family guy look a little bit different. One's in a wheelchair. I get that. The other's <laughs> a bit excessive with the blubber. All right. This dude, he's got a rotunda mint section. This dude uh, look a little bit anorexic. It's interesting what way you can go in, but I, I got to tell you, I'm going to go with the king of the hill. Initially, I was thinking about this because of their weight, but I start looking at this from right here, and all of these guys look like they form a military or something. There's something about them just standing around like that. Look like dudes that hurt you, <laughs> that, that, that are accustomed to hurting people, and they just age. What? Now. I'm going to go with King of the Hill. That's what I'm going to do. Next up, let's go to this. Stephen A., at Lakers League, right? Stephen A., would you rather eat this or witness the Cowboys win a Super Bowl? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what that is. Clam chowder. Clam. Chunky clam chowder. Frozen clam chowder on a stick. I got to admit to you, I would rather watch the Cowboys win a Super Bowl. Yeah, because that's that crazy. That just looked nasty. I'm sorry. That looks like, that, I'm just sorry. That look, I'm not, I'm not knocking Chunky because I like Chunky soup. You know, all the other, other, you know, like chicken noodle soup, other stuff. But this right here looked like somebody vomited. And just froze the damn thing and turned it into something that looks like clam chowder on a stick. That's exactly what it I'm not like. feeling that at all. I would rather use the Cowboys to win a Super Bowl. It would annoy me to no end, but I've gotten to the point where, damn, it's 29 straight years. It's become so bad for the Cowboys. I'm starting to feel sorry for them. So that's <laughs> just me. Let's go to the next one right here, please. At Blaine Henry TFL writes, who wins in a race, Stephen A? Lightning McQueen or Speed Racer? It's a hard one. But I'm going to go with my old heads. We going with Speed Racer. Ain't nothing being a Mach 5, bro. Speed Racer. That's what I'm going to go with Speed Racer. Hell yeah. First of all, I love your name. I know Lightning McQueen and all that. Say, I get all that. But I'm going to roll with Speed. But you are a toy. So that's just how I feel about it. I don't know. I'm guessing. But I'm going to roll with that. Let me go to the last one right here, please. Okay. The fuck? Look at this right here. Now, before I get into this right here, please understand this before I get to your calls. This wasn't directed at me. But I came across one last post on X from the other day with Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Ravens star quarterback Lamar Jackson, that I had to respond to. At Julie T. Hart, H-A-R-D-T, on X posted, 
you ain't black if you never ate this. That's what she wrote. Lamar replied, whole time I've been right. Lamar Jackson mm -hmm. from a distance raved it up. Figurative high five, baby. I must have been white the whole time, too. I'd be damned if I was going to eat that. <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't know what it don't is. Say hear that shit. I don't know what it is. They hear that shit. He going to call him a coon. We got to get out of here. Let's see. I got to find one I didn't see. Three on three? All right, bye. Right. Off rip two. Off rip two. Who the fuck wears chains up here instead of down here? Come on, man. Let's be honest, man. That was How easy. How would a giraffe wear a tie? On the top or the bottom of the neck? Um, What is that, a snout? Like, I say picture to the right where the tie comes down because here's the problem. Number one, he's tall enough to get away with it. Number two... Um, you don't want the, the the tie flopping up in your face and all of that stuff. Facts, facts. Um, the better look is the tie on top, but because it's a giraffe with that long ass neck, you gotta go to the bottom. I'm gonna say the bottom would do it, even even though if it were me, I'd put it up top. Uh, at Blaine Henry TFL writes, when you're getting dressed in the morning, is it sock sock shoe shoe? Or sock, shoe, sock, shoe. It's sock, sock, shoe, shoe. Yeah, that's I don't crazy. I one sock and then the shoe and then go to the other foot. Like, who does that? <laughs> who the fuck does that? I put on the other sock and the other shoe. I put on one sock, then the other sock. Then I put on one shoe and the other shoe. That's how I like to do it, to answer that question. I don't know where y'all come up with these damn questions. I don't even know why y'all curious about this stuff. It's unbelievable. But I'm going to answer it. At Za, Za Savage. It's Zach Savage, but it's spelled Z-A-X-A-V-A-G-E. He writes, if you had a third ear, where would you put it? I have no idea. I want to say, like, my hands. Probably, like, you know, like, right here somewhere. So I could just, like... Tell me what he's saying. Like, you know, like, put my hand through a door... <laughs> I'd put it in the trash <laughs> Yo No funny shit bro Cause I'm trying to think like Yeah bro where the fuck Would I put my third ear at Like <laughs> Where would it be like Real beneficial Behind my back Bro said behind his back That's when people Are talking about you He's gay <laughs> You ever heard that expression If you had a table Where people are talking about Other folks Yo kid Titanic I soon get on Smash Bros too By the way son Stay tuned Get up And leave because the second you do, they'll be talking about you. You'll be the subject. And if you got anything for me to react to, like any suggestions, bro, send that in. Get away from people like that. People are always talking behind other people's back. So where I would have that third ear would be right behind my back. You know why? I don't have to see somebody about to stab me in it, but at least I can hear it. What? Uh, This one. At IGW097. Stephen A., which ones are you picking? And they're asking this question. A zombie outbreak has just occurred. You can pick four of the following to begin your journey of survival. Okay. Here's what I'm taking, y'all. Um, I'm taking the AK-47. I'm taking the shotgun. Okay. A zombie outbreak. Uh, you can only pick four of the following. Oh, wow. That shit right back to myself. Yeah, we gonna watch that shit right after. Uh, let's see. Body armor, flashlight, first aid kit, uh, fire axe. Oh, I'm taking the katana. 
I'm taking the katana. I'm taking the silencer, a jeep, and body armor. I might just take the body armor after that. I'm taking the jeep, and I'm taking the silenced handgun. I'm smoking all of them every chance I get. Dude, who the fuck you think he is? It's the worst nightmare you can imagine. People chewing on you. Oh, hell no. Hell to the no. Um, last but not least, we got you winning a three versus three in hoops. Three on three. Ed, who you got winning? This is at underscore J Goon. J G O O N. Or Drew G zero zero N. Who you got winning a three on three in hoops? Ed, Eddie. No, Ed with one D. Ed. First off, I got my money on SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squiddy, bro. Cause there's no way Double D shooting that bitch or playing defense, bro. That's the weakest link on the whole court, bro. Hell no, bro. We going with that. Bro said I choose the Jeep, AK-47 first AK body armor. Now you wildin', bro. You need you need something to like, you know, you, you gotta shoot for long range and you gotta be able to poke them up. With two D's, Eddie or SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squid Ward. Hmm. Why did he say his name like I'm that? I'm gonna go with SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. Squidward. Squidward with the square head. Uh, square. I'm looking at Patrick. He's got height. I'm looking at uh SpongeBob. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm good with that. The brothers up top, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They don't look like they can ball. You know what I'm saying? Only thing they got in common with with most athletes is them baggy ass pants they're wearing. I'm gonna go with Patrick. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squid Ward. I got to get on out of here for the day. Hope y'all enjoyed the show. Um, he gave everybody a different name. We got the great Taryn Hall coming on.